Hello, my name is Brent Antrim, and today we're doing a database tour of the Gale Communication and Mass Media Database at Santa Monica College. So to get to the library from the college homepage, you would mouse over Student Support and click on Library, or click on Student Support, scroll down to Academics, and the library is in the center. Once there, there are a number of useful access points for you to use. Databases is where we'll spend most of our time today. Um, we also have research guides on a variety of topics, including how to do research and citation. You can book a study room for yourself or your group. You can look at archived workshops and videos and see upcoming workshops. And you can ask a librarian via chat 24-7. If you ask during chat um, at a time when the SMC library is closed, you will talk to a librarian from a university or college that belongs to the consortium we're all part of. If they can't answer your question, if it's very specific to SMC, they can leave a ticket, and that ticket will go to us, and when we open again, we will contact you via email to make sure that you got the information you need to answer your question. Below these access points are our upcoming events, a list of various resources that can be useful to you, our hours and contact information, and social media contact information. So today, we're going to do a database search um, specifically in this case on a current event having to do with media. And the topic that I'm using is artificial intelligence and how it impacts the production of animation or animated films. So to start off with, um, I might have a hard time figuring out where I go because we have over 100 databases. So before I dive into the databases, I can take a look through various filters for those databases. Now, I would not want to search for animation here and search for databases because it doesn't search the content of the databases. It searches the description of the database. So um, instead, I'm going to head over and I'm going to look at subjects because there is a subject for communication. And when I click that, it cuts out over 100 databases and leaves me with databases that are either specific to my topic or include a great deal of content on my topic. So today what we're going to look at is Communications and Mass Media Gale 1 file. This database looks familiar to other Gale databases, but as with all databases, it has unique content. So <clears throat> I can start in a subject guide. I can search for a specific publication if I have that in mind. But today I'm just going to feed it my topics and see what it gives me. So if I say artificial intelligence, if I can spell it right, and animation. Notice it gives me options. It says, are you talking about pattern recognition? And you say, no, 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 I'm talking about animation. And when you search that out, it will break out a number of magazines, journal articles, books which give you background and context, and news articles that give you current events on your topic. So within this, I can look for a specific publication date, say I just want the last five years or the last year. So I can say give me from 2022, it came out in November of 2022 I believe, to 2024. And I can apply that filter. And notice that takes it down considerably. One thing that it does is it takes away all the books. So that tells me that there's been quite a bit of popular interest in it. It's been in the news and the magazines a lot. And there hasn't really been a lot of time for deep research on it. So there are fewer academic journal articles. I can also filter by subject. In this case, I might want to look for animation software. I want to, might want to look for animated movies. I want, might want to look specifically for anime. I can look by the document type. Is it an article? Is it a report? Is it from a conference? I can look within these results for the term, for example, production. And it will take out anything that does not specifically have that term in it. And then I can scroll down and I can take a look and see what we've got. If I have a specific 
um, corporation in mind. I can look for Sony or Crunchyroll or whatever it might happen to be, although I guess Crunchyroll is now owned by Sony or Warner Brothers. And if I find something that looks interesting, I can click on it. Once I'm within the document, it will allow me to change how I display it to make it easier for me to read. It will allow me to save it, print it, and download it. It will give me options to cite it or get a permanent link. It will give me other articles that are related to it, and there's quite a few. But notice these most of these are about Barbie. They're less about AI, and some of them are about AI. And at the end of this um, article, it will also give me an option for, in this case, take a look at the original content and give me options to make citations. Keep in mind, fix the citation when you put it in your paper, because sometimes the robot makes mistakes, so go by the template that your teacher gives you. And then I can go back to my results, and I can find um, another article, maybe a journal article. You'll notice it's a bit more in-depth, because this is primary research. So this is a good starting place if you have um, an idea of what you would like to take a look at. Keep in mind that it is not a one-stop shop. I highly recommend that you use between three and four databases for any essay that you do um, in order to get the broadest possible understanding of your topic so that you can present it well. If you have any questions, you can always ask a librarian. Good luck with your research.